Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about some standard exceptions which are defined in the C++ and also, you know, how to use them. So if you guys have watched my previous tutorial, you know, where I have explained about the try and the cat blocks and also the throw keyword. So here in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the standard exceptions available in C++. And also in the previous tutorial, you know, I have told that uh, if you want to use the standard exceptions, you guys need to use the header file exception. But in C++, every standard exception classes derive ultimately from this exception class. You know, that exception class is defined in this exception header. Uh, the two main derived classes are the logic error and the runtime error. And they are defined inside another header file called uh, std accept so this std accept is gonna include this exception header file in itself and that's why we don't need to use exception here if you are using only standard exceptions in your programming and you know you are not uh, deriving from this exception class then you guys need to use std accept so here in this tutorial i'm gonna demonstrate about you know the standard exceptions available in c++ so we're gonna use the std accept so first we have the exception base class and then uh, we have the derived classes from that exception class such as the bad alloc then the bad cast and then bad type id bad exception and the logic failure and runtime error so this logic failure and runtime errors are uh, used to define some more exceptional classes for example the domain error the invalid argument the length error and the out of range these exceptional classes are derived from the logic failure exceptional class and also we have uh, the overflow error the range error and the underflow error these are defined or derived from the, the runtime error exceptional class so here in this tutorial i just want to show you how to use the runtime error exception class in your program so in the previous tutorial we have uh, written a program you know which was checking for the divide by zero operation so we're gonna write the same program here also so it's gonna be two variables a and initialize this one and b to a value of zero and we're gonna have a c variable and then we're gonna form the try blocks it's gonna be try and then here inside this try block we're gonna perform c equal to a divided by b so here you know this statement is gonna cause the exception and uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the value of c and c and line all right now we're gonna check for the exceptional condition by using the if statement so if b equal to zero you know the divide by zero error is gonna occur so here we can use the standard exception and since this divide by zero is gonna occur in a runtime so we're gonna throw the runtime error object so it's gonna be throw keyword and then run time error and here you can pass a string and let's say and let's say divide by zero error all right the next thing that we need to do is we need to write the catch block so it's gonna be catch and here the exception generated is an object of this runtime error class we gonna take that here so it's gonna be runtime error and uh, let's take it by reference and let's say error all right now you know all of us know that uh, you know this runtime class is derived from the exception class and that exception class defines a virtual method called what so this runtime class is gonna override that virtual method and that's why we can call that method from this error object so here we're gonna say exception occurred so it's gonna be exception occurred and then uh, let's end this line and then in the next line we're gonna use the c out and we're gonna call the what method from this error object and it's gonna be error dot what and that's it in the previous tutorial we have thrown a string value you know specifying the er error and in this tutorial we are throwing an object 
which is of this class runtime era so here i'm going to save this program i'm going to build and run this okay so now you guys can see we have exception occurred you know which is from this c out statement and then we have divide by zero error you know which is the string that we have passed to the object or the error object and we have retrieved that using the what meta and also you know we have some other standard exceptions available you know which we can uh, use in our program here just for the demonstration purpose you know we have uh, used this runtime error so this is it guys this is how you guys can use the standard exception which is available in c++ so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial